Welcome, welcome back to The Hunter. My name is Melbro, and we're on episode 6. On the overnight, we I had some zombies uh, attack me a little bit, bang me up a little bit, but I am doing just fine, although a crawler gave me a sprained leg, and I've already splinted it up, but that is no big deal. The, most, uh, the show must go on. And what the plan for today is, uh, we are going to go back to the <laughs> burn town here, and because uh, the the horde is a, a day out, and we got to set up for the first horde night. So, with all that being said, I'm gonna get prepped, and we'll get right into the episode. So as I'm walking through town here. Uh, uh, as of the day of this recording, which is the day after uh, episode 5 of the series was uh, recorded, and, and it has been uploaded, and it is my highest viewed video yet as uh, 12 views, I think it is. So I want to thank you guys for making that the most viewed video, and, and uh... If you see this, uh, please give me a, a comment. You tell me what you think of the series. Uh, is it interesting? Is it could it be done better? Could it, you know anything is uh, uh, welcome. I am uh, looking to, for ways to improve, and uh, your feedback is more than welcome. So we got Bob pulling up with Curly here. You know, and these guys are up to no good. See you later, Curly. Level up and, and, and 29 and 5 skill points to spend. Give Curly the knife. Come on, Curly, go down. You are stubborn. So, yeah, I'm gonna build a base uh, here in town for the Day 7 Horde, and my plan afterwards is uh, we're going to. Go uh, northbound on the uh, road here and see if we can find another town to settle in, preferably not in the burn biome or in the wasteland. And uh, hopefully with ripe more loot and uh, we can uh, drive a bit more in and we can see what we can do there. Now I'm a little nervous about the horde, but uh, I decided to uh, go get prepping today. Uh, you know, not prep last minute. Uh, so, I'll let you know what I've uh, decided I found a good uh, place to set up shop. So, I'm looking at this old uh, destroyed house here, and I think this would be a pretty decent place to build. It's on the eastern side of town, uh, right over here, and and 2094 south and 683 west and so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start getting to work on this and uh, while I'm doing that this will be time lapse.
right, so I've done some <laughs> patching up in this place uh, as much as I can. I'm not really putting too much effort into it because it's uh, just meant to be a day seven base. I uh, don't really expect too much uh, resistance out of the zombies, but one thing I am gonna do is I should do. I'm gonna put some reinforcement under the stairs because this would be. Because I remember these zombies can be uh, very destructive with the stairs on this version because they're not the uh, super uh, engineering degree zombies that PC players know and love. So I'm just going to do a little bit of bolstering here just in case none of the zombies get any ideas. And so yeah, it's not the most incredible work I've just kind of rounded off the corners here, chopped up so the building, you know, just try to make it a little bit more clean. But it's not that big of a deal. I just need to get some more cobblestone rocks. Uh, but yeah, this should be <laughs> fine for a day seven horde. I got my little barricade here. Uh, oh, whoops, stuck on the fence. Let me break that down real quick. There we go. Let me just box that up. Damn upgrades sometimes. I swear. There we go. That should be barricaded pretty decently. I've had a couple zombies come room by. Give me some loot. Uh, all the way to the town. I did find Sarah's treasure map. I'm not going to open that up just yet because I want to save that for potentially another town. You know, can go out on this road and so the only thing I really have left to do is to put some ladders on this so I can access it from here and let me craft those uh, where are they at there they are uh, do eight ladders that should be fine and one thing I'm definitely gonna do is I'm going to make some some wood spikes here not only six spikes, but it's no big deal. Just kind of giving me some basic uh, zombie defenses. Kind of help them out the herd a little bit. I'll collect some wood overnight. Um, can I make it? No. Then I need to put one more ladder. Come on, game. Thank you. Okay, so we have three ladders to spare. This uh, should be uh, pretty good. Hopefully, uh, zombies don't decide to uh, can climb up here over in Horde Night, but we shall see. See, so as these spikes are crafting, I'm going just to put in a couple. Yeah, just make it a little bit more difficult for the zombies to come after me. And yeah, that for now, that's just about uh, all the kind of fortifications I have to do. I did level up a few times to get some skill points. I think uh, this one we're gonna pump into Sexy T-Rex. And uh, I did level it into Minor 69 or Path at the other 20 skill points. Or is, uh... Yeah, I've done two levels in Minor 69 or so doing pretty good. And my axe is broken anyways, but that's no big deal, so... Let's do a little bit of looting, shall we? I know these building episodes can be a little bit uh, boring, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. I, I try to irritate as much as possible. And we're gonna hit this place up. Nobody at the front door. See if there's anything in the car. Anything? Ooh, nail gun parts. I think I found uh, the battery to the nail gun in one of the earlier days. Got Annie hanging out here. How are you doing, Annie? That's good to hear. Good to hear that you do good. Honey, and some water and some painkillers. That's really good. Should I actually take a painkiller and drink water. Okay, let's see if there's anything good in this place. Some paper. Not really that useful. Oh, there's a hatch up here. Let's see if there's anything blocked up in here. And we got a dead Charlie up here. Yes, some ammo I can't use. 
it's really not that big of a deal. Flex our way into the store real quick. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, I really appreciate the uh, views on episode 5, the, uh, making it my most uh, popular vid. I still have yet to learn, and, but hey, YouTube is a journey, and ooh, we got a gun safe in here. I'm gonna break into this gun safe, and I'll be back in a minute. Alright, let's see what's in here. Oh, a shotgun and a long a shotgun long barrel and some shotgun shells. If only I was uh, not limited to the hunting rifle. Really not getting lucky on the 762s, uh, but hey, that's no big deal. I think to save on space, I'm just going to leave that in there. And let's check out the rest of this place and deal with the company we got. Uh, who's down here? Uh, anybody? Hello? Oh, we got Marlo knocking at the door. How you doing, Marlo? Yeah, the usual business, I suppose. Come here, Marlo. Thank you, Marlo. Have a good day. Some couches, uh, unlocked door. Anything in the bookcase? Leather leg armor schematic. That is wonderful. Another hmm, flashlight. I did loot another flashlight. Uh, I think it was in a book bag. Uh, uh, backpack uh, earlier. Hunting rifle parts. Uh, I can at least combine that. Anything in here? No, not really. Uh, cupboard. More jars. Take them. Yeah, uh, glass jars start stock really uh, high. Uh, don't really want the turret at the moment. So, not looking like there's too much in here. Let's see if there's anything locked up in here. Hopefully my axe is not decide to break on me. Oh, great. Decent pickaxe. Let me pull one of these flashlights down for you guys so you can see. A small little uh, office. Let's grab that for iron. File cabinet, we can scrap that. For brass and... Anything in the nightstands? Puffer coat. Pair that. Coveralls. If I remember, these are really good for protection. They're worse than my think, plant fire pants. Supposedly I remember hearing somebody <clears throat> say that they provide some of the best protection in the game, which I don't know about that yet. So Read the kitchen here. Anything in the sinks? Shrine iron pipes, just, just got that down for iron. Cooking pot. Cupboards. Anything in the cupboards. A uh, can. Just got that down. Anything more in here? Water. Nothing. And nada. Uh. Can't really break it to that door because my axe is broken. Can't break in there either. So I think I'm gonna place these uh, other couple spikes down and at the horde base, and I'm going to catch up with you guys uh, on the night time. I'll see you back at base. All right, so I made it back to base safely, and it's just after night time here. So. There's not much going to be going on on the <laughs> overnight, I don't believe, other than me just trying to build up resources for the uh, horde base and, you know, get some ammo, get some other stuff crafted up, you know, maybe some more spikes, and, uh, and I'm going to be organizing myself, so I apologize if this is a, a much shorter episode than usual, but, you know, just got to do some base building and... That gets pretty boring, so... Uh, but with all that being said, I'm going to end the, today's episode. Uh, if you like today's episode, uh, I thank you for watching, and please leave a comment down below what you think, and have a great day, everybody.